Lurking in this shed is a deadly killer. While you're about your daily farming chores, you will be completely unaware that it threatens your life. You cannot see it. You cannot hear it. You can't feel or taste it. In the short time that you will have to find this menace, it will have paralyzed the only means you have of detecting it, your sense of smell. You will then be suddenly exposed and may not have a chance to fight back. Over the past number of years, there have been too many unsuspecting victims who have fallen prey to this killer on Irish farms. Countless numbers of cattle and pigs have also been killed. Those who have been more fortunate have had close encounters and near escapes from injury and even death. You would expect that something this sinister belongs to the realms of science fiction and the X-Files, but the stories to be told about accidents involving slurry gas are numerous and very real. The excellent farming practices employed on this dairy farm in County Monaghan were insufficient in averting a serious accident involving the gas. The farm's owner, Hugo Maguire, is determined not to get caught again. We would be considered to have an, almost a foolproof slurry system with an outside slurry store, proper uh, slatted unit and proper uh, safety measures are always in place and we thought we were we always felt a certain amount of comfort that we had everything right and uh, whenever we were agitating slurry or moving slurry to the outside tank we always insisted that all doors were open that there was a good wind flow and uh, we had worked for 15 to 17 years without any accidents obviously we lived in a false sense of security that we didn't have everything, every bat covered, you know. Modern farming in Ireland and good environmental management of our beautiful countryside have meant that more and more cattle are housed for the winter months. Naturally enough, a consequence of this is the collection of large amounts of animal waste. At its simplest, slurry is a good fertilizer, rich in nutrients, but behind this lies a much more complex biological process. When slurry decomposes in storage, it produces a concoction of gases, giving off the characteristic unpleasant smell associated with it. One of these gases, though, has the potential to turn unpleasant working conditions into an atmosphere that threatens the lives of both man and beast. This gas is hydrogen sulphide. It's a very soluble gas, so it remains dormant in the slurry throughout the year. However, when slurry is disturbed, this gas comes to the surface. And even though it's heavier than air, it rises like an invisible fog just above the slats. When this situation occurred in Hugo Maguire's farm, he was fortunate on two counts. His daughter Jenny was on hand to raise the alarm, but was very lucky not to succumb to the gas herself. Jenny, can you take me back to the day of the accident? Yeah, we had been agitating the slurry all afternoon and at the stage it was four o'clock and I was just finishing up washing out the parlour here and I just looked around and there was a cow lying down just there at the edge of the slats and at first I really didn't know what had happened to her. I didn't have any idea that it could be anything to do with the slurry, you know, because the gas was so intense at that stage there was no actual smell of it. So and were you shocked by that situation? Oh yeah, it was just amazing that something like that can happen so suddenly. Were you affected yourself by it? Um, we, earlier in the parlour we had kind of been aware of it because of the smell and we'd go out and take a breather and that but um, really I was lucky because I was the longest here, I was the longest at the scene where the cow was but um, the fact that I had been standing on the concrete when um, one of the contractors came in and he went down to the cow's head on the slats and actually collapsed and you know the result was he spent two nights in hospital. Recent surveys of working conditions during agitation have shown that 95% of slatted sheds in Ireland contain levels of slurry gas well in excess of the 10 to 15 parts per million permitted by law. At low concentrations, hydrogen sulphide can be identified by its characteristic rotten eggs odour. Between 15 and 100 parts per million, this smell is lost due to the gas paralysing the nose senses. Therefore, the sense of smell can no longer be relied upon as an indicator of the presence of slurry gas. When the concentration of hydrogen sulphide rises to 250 parts per million, it can cause serious health effects such as severe headache, disorientation and chest pains. Continuous exposure can lead to pulmonary oedema or lung failure. Doubling of the levels to 500 parts per million can bring about sudden unconsciousness or a knockdown. Death can follow within minutes. One intake of breath can be fatal at 700 parts per million. 
This research has also shown that a disturbing number of slatted sheds have had levels of hydrogen sulphide well in excess of 1,000 parts per million. This effectively transforms a simple farm building into a deadly gas chamber. Well, I actually wasn't here when uh, we were pumping the story. I was at a dairy conference in Limerick, and I was in constant contact with home here and with my daughter that things were going okay, and she assured me everything was going okay. And um, anyway, I got the word that this accident had happened, and I was with a fella who advised me to contact Heffron's about a uh, gas system or a gas detection system and uh, it was from there that we put the, the wheels in motion. The Gasic Alarm System is the world's first and only detection unit for alerting farmers to rising levels of slurry gas. It is designed specifically for use in or near slatted sheds and slurry holding tanks. I decided to install the Gasic system on our farm here because I'm away a lot of the time. I needed an insurance policy to make sure that the guy who works for me, whom I like, is still there when I come back because if something happened to him or something happened to somebody else or even some animals died, it, it would make a nonsense of being busy and rushing around the place. So I decided that it was important to have some type of insurance policy. GASIC provides an advanced warning system by means of a siren and beacon so that those in the vicinity of dangerous gases are alerted well before gases reach levels that threaten their safety or the safety of their animals. At that stage there is enough time to take preventative measures by immediately evacuating everyone from the building and preventing a greater buildup of the gas by stopping and adjusting the agitation process. I would be more than 100% uh, pleased with the system. We've had it operational since January and on every occasion when there has been any uh, movement of slurry in any shape or form, the system has detected the gas there and it has warned us of the danger of slurry gas and what it can do. Liam, tell me, is it safe to come back here now? Yes, it's safe for us to come into the area again because the siren has stopped and the beacon has stopped flashing, telling us that it's safe. The gas has dissipated, it's safe for us to come back in here. Gasic not only tells you when it, you have to leave an area, it also lets you know when it's safe to come back in. Liam, you're the inventor of this system. What is it and how does it work? This is an advanced warning system for the detection of slurry gases on farms. It consists basically of a control unit and two or more detectors. In this particular case, we have two detectors placed at strategic locations in the shed. Over here we have one of those detectors. And basically what's after happening here was the contractor was agitating the slurry. And the alarm activated and he then left the area fairly quickly. What happened there was the detector was monitoring the air, taking the gas, taking the air in through the detector and blowing it out here via an uh, internal fan. As soon as this, the gas levels broke the safety limits, the message is relayed back to the main control unit. It activated the alarm and the uh, contractor knew immediately it was unsafe for him to remain in the area, and so he left. Are there not other systems for detecting slurry gas, gas masks or monitors? There are. We'll take two of them. The portable detector, for example, doesn't give you a warning of dangerous gas buildup, while a gas mask isn't recommended for use in a salad shed or a similar environment. Really, um, slurry is a dangerous enough business already without having to worry about other things. And what the gas alarm system allows you is to get on with the work you're um, doing already without worrying about anything else. The gas alarm system is purpose built for farmers and contractors as a mobile unit, which facilitates easy movement from shed to shed or farm to farm. Alternatively, it can be installed as a fixed wall mounted unit. It has an internal rechargeable battery which lasts for several hours or it can be connected directly to the tractor or mains power supply. It comes with a service and maintenance contract which will ensure the system lasts well into the future. Up to lately I wouldn't have thought that slurry gas was a major risk to me personally but I hear these horror stories around the country of people you know, who, who get caught and I, I've heard of peop people uh, agitating slurry and animals dropping in sheds and I really can't afford that risk and it really came home to me in 1994 I was in the US in Minnesota on a farm and the farmer told me that the 
farm next door was closed down because four people had died there because uh, they were agitating a slurry in a pig unit and four of them dropped dead, the whole family. I remember he said that the mother was in, she went in to get, uh, to get the dinner for them and she came out and the four of them were dead there. So, I mean, that's a horrible story. If that happened here, I don't know what I'd do. You know, your life and your farm, everything is over, it wouldn't be worth it. From our experience now, you can't, literally as the song goes, you can't have one without the other. You have a, you have a tractor, you have a slurry pump, you have a slurry store, you have a gas detection system. That's the way I look at it now. It's just an essential piece of equipment on the farm now, more essential maybe than most things we have on the farm, because it's there to save life. Heffron Agri-Systems also supply a range of safety equipment and security systems for both farm and home. For further information on these and the GASIC alarm system, please contact 0800-2000-2000.